Hello YouTubers, Rogunki Jr. here, and in today's video, I'm going to share five quick tips for all you new Apex Legends players out there. Hell, some of you veteran players might not even know some of these tips. So starting off with tip number one, now I've seen multiple people ask me this in the comment section. Uh, you can hit your inventory button to exit a death box while you're looting it. So let's say you're looting a death box and you're getting shot at, you don't have to press the escape button. You can literally just press your inventory button, whatever you have that bound to. I have it bound to tab. So when I'm looting a death box, I can quickly escape from the loot context menu by pressing my tab button, which is my inventory button. Tip number two, now you'll quickly realize in Apex Legends that third partying is the norm. And more often than not, you're gonna get caught by another team after having just finished a fight without having had the chance to heal. Now, one of the most important things you need to learn in Apex Legends is shield swapping. No matter if you have a red uh, Evo shield and there's a white Evo shield laying on the ground that's completely full, you can switch and must switch to that to get that quick 50 shield points instead of having zero shields if your red evo shield is completely diminished. You can also shield swap shields from body boxes. So death boxes, if you just got out of a fight, the shield that the person has that you just finished off will be full in their death box. You can quickly swap out shields with them and that would allow you to get a full boost of whatever that person's shield was. So if it was a purple shield, then you get an instant full purple shield giving you a really quick health boost when you have another team pushing. So again, it's always better to have a fully healed white shield than a completely depleted red evo shield. Tip number three, you can actually throw grenades underneath the corner of the door when somebody is blocking the door and you want to get in. Instead of kicking the door, if you have a hand grenade, you can actually throw it in the bottom corner of the door and it will actually go inside of the building or outside of the building where that person is blocking the door at. Now all you need to do is take out your hand grenade, aim at the very bottom corner of the door, and at a certain point the landing spot, which is in red, will disappear from your side and you won't be able to see it and that means that the grenade will go inside of the door. Tip number four, thermite grenades are incredibly useful when pushing buildings because these can actually burn through doors completely. So if somebody's hiding on the other side of the door, you can throw a thermite grenade perpendicular to the door and it will damage them. So chances are they'll either move because they're getting damaged by fire or they will get hurt pretty bad and then the door will eventually blow up because of said fire, which then allows you to push inside or outside of that building. Tip number five, you can use crafting stations to heal up your body. Body armor. So let's say you just got out of a fight, don't do this when you have other teams pushing, but if you just got out of a fight and you're maybe running low on shield cells or shield batteries, you can actually go to a crafting station, deposit your shield to level it up with 100 evo points. Now this costs you 45 crafting materials, but what it also does is that it completely heals your shield. So let's say that you have a purple shield and you still need 550 damage until the red evo shield and it is completely depleted or has some health missing out of it. If if you deposit your shield in the crafting station, not only will it give you back the shield with only 450 damage required until red evo, it will also completely heal your shield. So that pretty much does it for this quick tip video. Keep your eyes peeled for more. Let me know if you knew about these already. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.